Now we get to talk about one of my favorite subjects, and that is using Microsoft Excel with your Peachtree software. We can use Excel to further manipulate financial reporting information that we get out of Peachtree. Under the Reports menu, any report we pull up within this menu, we can export it to Microsoft Excel and further manipulate the data. Let's look at accounts receivable. Let's say, for example, that we want to find out what items we're selling to which customers. In other words, by inventory item, we want to know what customers are buying those inventory items. Right now, there's not a standard report that comes with our Peachtree software that will tell us that information. There's a report here that looks like it might tell us the information. Let's run this report and see what it looks like. Let's run it for all periods. And you can see that it's by customer. It tells me what that customer is buying. But you see, I want it by item ID. If I look up here and come into inventory, for example, there is not a report here that would tell me by item ID which customers are buying it. So we're going to use Microsoft Excel to generate the information we want. Anytime we run a financial report in Peachtree, either a financial report or a financial statement, we have this button up here, Excel. By pressing this button, Peachtree will automatically launch Excel and export this information into an Excel worksheet. So let's do that. Let's export this report into Microsoft Excel. The first choice that comes up is Peachtree wants to know if we should create a new Microsoft Excel workbook or we can add a worksheet to an existing Microsoft Excel workbook. This second choice is a great feature if we do this regularly and we want to continue building financial information in Excel. We're going to select the first choice and click OK. Peachtree will now take this information and put it into Excel for us. At the same time, it automatically launches the Microsoft Excel program. Here's the information in Excel. Notice the header and footer are not displayed here. Let's go look at the header and footer. Peachtree automatically puts it in for us. Here's the header and here's the footer. Next, we want to sort this report based on column C because we want to know what customers are buying which inventory items. So let's sort this spreadsheet. Click on this box to select the entire sheet. Come under data, choose sort. We're going to sort based on item ID. Be sure the header row is checked and click OK. Now Excel has sorted this information for us. If we scroll down here, we can now see who is buying Avery products, this book product, etc. Let's go down a little further. This product here, NURS-21100. We can further analyze this product and see that Cunningham Construction bought 10 of them and Tidmore Real Estate bought 3. So this is a very useful way to take information from Peachtree and further manipulate it using Microsoft Excel. Now, let's go back to Peachtree and pull up a couple other reports. Financial statements, 
balance sheet. Here's our Microsoft Excel button once again. Let's take this into Excel. Here it is. Once again, the header and footer information is here. This is an excellent, powerful tool. for us to use.